November last year, it was early November, our principal called in our sixth grade team and she was just kind of talking to us about some other events that were going on in the school and happened to touch upon the fact that there are a lot of kids in our school who are struggling, specifically 75 students who fell under the category of in transition, which means homeless. The food bank, which had been providing some food for our kids on the weekends, were no longer able to do it. They were strapped and there was no longer um, that service that was provided for our kids. So in essence, we had 50 to 75 children that were going home without food on the weekend that they used to get the year before. And uh, this was something that the Lord has placed on my heart. Poverty and, and reaching people through food was something that had been placed on my heart for a long time. My heart just broke hearing my principal talk about the fact that we have 75 kids who are going home with nothing to eat. And I asked her, is it possible for me to look into some other options, some other ways that we can reach these students um, to make sure that their needs are met? And she told me I was welcome to go look and do whatever I wanted to, as long as I kept her uh, in the loop, but not to expect anything. And that's what I heard from everyone. Don't, don't expect anything, don't get your hopes up. If you're willing to try, go for it, um, but don't, don't get your hopes up. Faith tells us that we can move mountains, and how do we know? Because the Bible tells us so. And so this was the mountain, and let's go move the dumb thing. And that, that was the prayer I had was just, Lord, let's, let's move the dumb mountain. Let's move it out of the way. A long time ago, the Lord had put on my heart to contact Journey Christian Church. I have no affiliation here, just the fact that the Lord put that stirring inside me to contact them. And I got a hold of Aaron, and we set up this, this meeting and, and through this conversation about <laughs> you know, reaching our students in this bag that cost $4.88 to put together to feed kids for the weekend. Aaron asked if there was a name for it and I laughed and I said, come to the table from Luke 14 and he kind of gave me this look and I wasn't sure if I got the verse right and so I, I quoted it, who do you invite to the banquet? Not, not those who can pay you back, but the poor. And, and he said, have you read my book? And it was the first time I met Aaron and so I said, I didn't know you had a book. And so uh, he told me about his book, Eat With Sinners, and it was just like the Lord had just aligned us perfectly. I watched this miracle unfold on February 18th. They dropped off the first bags of food. That very day, um, Journey Christian Church dropped off an entire office full of food. And I remember my principal saying, this is what community is supposed to look like. I watched a miracle unfold, and each person here made that happen. And sometimes I forget that, and I'll walk down and I'll look at this cabinet, this food pantry we have, just completely full. Faith can move mountains. 